Hello. If we put several resistors in series, that is, so that the same current goes through all the resistors, the resistors act as a single equivalent resistance whose resistance is the sum of the individual resistances in the series combination. One application of this property is to use a number of resistors to create a desired resistance. In this project, we'll use series combinations of resistors from the Digital and Analog Parts Kit to create a desired resistance which does not exist as a single resistor in the Parts Kit. First, let's review how to determine the equivalent resistance of a set of series resistors. Suppose, for example, that we have a series combination of n resistors, R1, R2, and so on up to R sub n. The elements are all in series because they all have the same current. KCL applied at any point in the circuit can verify this. The equivalent resistance of the series combination is simply the sum of the individual resistances. In short, the overall combination of resistors has the same voltage current relationship as a single resistor whose resistance is the sum of the individual resistances. One common application of this property is to create a desired resistance from other resistors. For example, we have a limited number of resistors in the digital and analog parts kit. When we design a circuit, however, we may find that we need a resistor which isn't available in our parts kit. It can be convenient to use our available resistors to create the desired equivalent resistance. For example, suppose we want a resistance of 9 kilo ohms. This resistance value is not available as a single resistor in our parts kit, so let's see if we can make the resistance value out of our available resistors. Our series resistance formula just says that we need to find several resistors whose resistances sum up to the desired value. The first approach I'll try to create my desired resistance is to use a 2.2 kilo ohm resistor in series with a 6.8 kilo ohm resistor. Both of these are available in the parts kit. If we add these resistances, we get an equivalent resistance of 9 kilo ohms, which is exactly what we want. But how can we be sure that this actually works? Being suspicious engineers, we'll want to test our circuit to make sure it does what we want. There are several ways that we can test our conclusion. The first way I'm going to use is apply a voltage across the combination of resistors and measure the current through the resistors. This current should be the applied voltage divided by the equivalent resistance of the combination of resistors. For our example, if our resistance actually is 9 kilo ohms and we apply 5 volts across the resistors, we should get a current of about 0.55 milliampers. Let's wire up our circuit, measure the current through the series combination of resistors now, and see if it matches our expected current. Here's our circuit. This is our 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. This is our 6.8 kilo ohm resistor. We're using V plus on the analog discovery, this red wire, to apply 5 volts across the overall circuit. The DMM is being used to measure the current through the series combination. If I turn on power to the analog discovery, I do get a current of about 0.55 milliamps, so it looks like we're in pretty good shape. However, let's try another approach towards estimating this resistance. I can use my DMM as an ohmmeter, which indicates that the actual resistance of this series combination is about 8.9 kilo ohms. If this is too far off from our desired resistance, we can always just add a little bit of resistance to the circuit. This is a 100 kilo ohm resistor addition of this third resistor in series brings the total combination up to 8.98 kilo ohms, close enough to 9 kilo ohms to make no difference. Now, of course, the previous combination of series resistors is not necessarily the only combination of resistors which can sum to 9 kilo ohms. If you really want to understand this stuff, try to find a couple more combination of resistors which give you the 9 kilo ohms and test those.